a little pre-recorded intro, uh, excuse the bad quality, uh, had to come all over the screen. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, it's currently 11-9, and I'm over here saying good afternoon. Um, well, you know what, that's totally fine. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about uh, five things I hate about school, because my creativity has gone down the drain. And before I start this video, I just want to say, please wait to the end to, you know, to click off the video, even if it means that you have to silence your phone, throw it in the bed. After that, it just bounces into the toilet, into the shower, and into your mom's vagina, and then you just need to dig it out, and it's absolutely horrible, but at the same time, you kind of like it. Um, you know, if, if it means that you have to do that, please do it. Uh, that's because my watch time needs to go up, so I can go famous and get a whole bunch of ladies off the streets without having to having to pay them millions of dollars an hour, like I already do. Um, you know, it's, it's a hard life out here. It was a little hot, so I obviously had to turn my fan on and put a, a suit on, because, you know, why not? You know, who, who wouldn't do that? Reason number one, we're going to be talking about people in PE. There's many kinds of people in PE. You know, there's a, there want, the ones that stink and the ones that just try too hard. For people that stink, you can just smell awful, like, like dog crap, or you can smell too good. And by too good, I mean awful. And by awful, I mean more awful than awful. For some reason, people think that if they bathe in a bottle of eggs, you know, it's freaking, hey, look at me, I'm attracting women like crazy, you know? I didn't know this had pockets in here. Oh my god, look, a pussy pocket. But, um, uh, oh shoot, there's, we'll make a good pussy pocket, you know, new pussy pocket video coming out soon with a button. But, you know, there's just some, some dumbass people that bathe in a bottle of eggs and then they just smell absolutely horrendous, you know what I mean? Um, that's enough for that, I guess. Reason number two, and I, I bet a whole bunch of children can, you know, agree with me on this one, is that no food in class, you know? I think that's absolutely the worst idea anyone in the world has had. Like, come on. We all know that one kid that buys a bag of Cheetos in the vending machine for $30, and he, he sneaks it into the classroom like it's a bag of cocaine in an airport. Listen, teachers, I'm a teenage boy, you know? Teenage boy that is hungry. Whenever I'm hungry, I'm like a teenage boy that is hungry without food, which is exactly what I am. If you don't let me make, cook a hot pocket in the back of the class, which I should totally be about to do, because, you know, uh, yeah. And that puts me to reason number three, which is uh, we have absolutely horrible lunch. By horrible lunch, I mean uh, dog crap, again. I mean, if we aren't allowed to cook our own food at the back of the classroom, while we're in the middle of teaching geology, which absolutely nobody used in their lives, at least serve us good food during lunch. Like, it wouldn't even be a problem, you know? Sometimes I feel Chinese, like I'm eating a, a dog. That's a, really racist, and I'm sorry, but you know, you can say I eat tacos and burritos all you want. I don't I don't really care. <laughs> Reason number four, you know, this is probably the most important one. It's uh, no cell phones during classroom. Um, like, come on now. I need to check all my online dating websites, you know? I got Tinder, Bumble, Omegle, or however you say that, you know, I probably mispronounced it, but I don't use it for the title, I use it for the sex, you know, for the hookups. Uh, I'm still a virgin, so it hasn't been going out great. I actually used Tinder once as a joke, you know, I catfished the hell out of ladies. Uh, I was a lesbian hot girl. I would probably make a video out of it, but probably not because um, I got banned permanently for life for catfishing. How they find out, I have no idea. But I did say some pretty mean stuff. Uh, but, you know, I might talk about it more in another video or just might, you know, make a whole new account, which is going to take ages. I'm going to feel like go buying a new hanging myself and uh, there's nothing much to do after hanging yourself, you know. And, you know, finally, but not least, um, the most, not the most, the worst thing in the whole school, you know, the thing I hate the most is the one teacher that thinks that she controls the building, you know. Uh, the one teacher that keeps you in after the bell rings. You know, she thinks she's the superintendent principal of the United States of America. If that makes absolutely no sense, you know, it doesn't. Neither does me wearing a suit. I look pretty good. I will show you all my nipples, but I don't feel like it, really. But listen, teachers, we got 0. 0.2 seconds to get to a whole nother classroom. Uh, first, we got to use the bathroom. Then we got to run, run across the hall, go into the main hallway, go into the basketball court, shoot a free throw. One to your class. Like, come on. We don't have time. You can't hold every single one of us back. Just because the, the one kid that sits in the bottom right of the corner. That does not make sense. Um, that sits in the corner. Absolutely nobody likes to talk to himself. 
because his penis was too short and he was just debating whether he should kill himself or not. I'm not that guy, definitely not. I don't talk to myself a lot. I do talk to myself a lot. I have a humongous thong. I have a big old monster that I freaking flick off every night. Well, you know what? That's all five. Um, I think I'm done for this video. I think I did pretty well compared to all my other videos. Uh, if you're debating whether you, should, whether you should kill yourself or not, you should most definitely hook me up. Uh, and I will give you the national presidential don't kill yourself number line theme of Bobber because you know I'm a good I'm a good kid. But you know, thank you for sticking around. Um like, share, subscribe, tell your mother to watch my videos because I'm pretty sure I didn't say any profanity this video. And I'm proud of that.